Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with Jaspie's 19 box The Captain Baseball Mixer. It's a random team break uh, featuring a definitive Jeter framed autograph giveaway. Wow. Out of three. I've got, I've got it right here. Let me show you. It's just in case you're wondering, are you for real? We're for real. There it is. The Captain. Just one off the jersey number as usual. All right, he's two, right? There it is. So we're giving that away to one person at the end of the break. That person also gets a train whistle, obviously. Out of fives and under, get the train whistle. That'll be a separate dice roll at the very, very end of the break. There you go. There's a closer shot right there. Everyone has a shot at it. Got a lot of nice stuff in this uh, in this mixer, ladies and gentlemen. There are all the boxes here. Big thanks to everybody who bought their spot straight up. And congrats to the winners in those mini box breaks. Congrats to you. All 30 teams are in. Let's roll it. Let's randomize it. 11 times. Six and a five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. Then final time. 11. Yep. I said 11. There you go. After 11 times, we've got James Beadle down to Ryan Harold. James Beetle Bard. 11 times for the teams. Good luck. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and 11 the final time. After 11, we got the Brew Crew down to the Blue Jays. There you go. After 11 times, trades are allowed. I will pause the video in just a second and allow for some trade chatter, but trade at your own risk. If you mess up a trade, it's not my fault. There's no, no crying in baseball. you got to live with it. James with the Brew Crew. Chris, you got the Cubs. James with the Cardinals. Asa with the Diamondbacks. Paul with the Padres. David with the Reds. Nick with the Angels. Matt with the Giants. Mike with the Astros. Nick with the Nats. Edwin with the M's, Jamie with the A's, Paul with the Red Sox, Mike with the Phillies, and you got my Dodgers from those spots you won in the mini box break. Ryan with the Braves, Nick with the Pirates, Adam with the Royals, Paul Nixon with the Mets, James with the Tigers, Volleyball Nancy with the Orioles, Chris Perrin with the Rockies, Jeremy Monahan with the Rays, Jim Bly with the Marlins, Mike Tower with the White Sox, James Yankees with the spot that you won, nice, Adam Wilson, Last Spot Mojo, Texas Rangers. Justin with the Twins, Adam Jacob with the Tribe, and Ryan Harold with the Blue Jays. There you have it. All right, let's 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 sort by column B right here. There we go. I'm going to pause the video, and when we come back, we're going to see if there's any trades, and then we'll have the 19 box break. Stick around. We'll be right back, and we'll have some more feud, too. And we're back. A lot of trade chatter, but in the end, no deals were done. So it's all good. Thank you. Good luck. Friday, 29th, Jaspie's 19 box, the Captain Baseball Mixer. Should be a lot of fun. Hopefully, we'll get some big hits out of here. We'll definitely guaranteed one big hit right here. It's that Jeter. So everyone has a shot at that at the end. So if you end up having a crappy break, you're like, at the, by the end of the break, remember, play to the whistle, but if you get to the end, you're like, man, Joe, this is pretty garbage. You at least still have a shot at the uh, Jeter. Now, if you had an excellent break, you can be like, whoa, Joe, that's, Jeter would be a nice cherry on top, and it would be. I'm going to take the under on this on Team Mulroy here. Taking the under. Daniel Smith asking, uh, oh, I know this is a baseball break, but it's a long one, so we can kind of get off topic a little bit. Uh, Daniel Smith saying, anyone actually seen a mosaic at a Walmart? Mosaic basketball. I've looked and looked, but there's none. I think you have to camp out at a Walmart to get it. I think so, too. From what I understand, they are independently, they're, they're stocked independently, right? So you got to know, you got to get in good with the 
some sort of stock manager or warehouse manager at your local Walmart or Target and find out when they come in, if they even have a consistent schedule. So then you got to figure that out and then know when that arrives and then be there at eight in the morning when they're putting it all out or whenever they do it. And then bang, you get it. Yeah, th th those days, no longer Paul Nixon. He grew up in the junk wax area. You can go to any store you want, get any pack box you want. No longer. Ooh, nice, Jordan. She's a keeper. Digital Jordan's, Mrs. Digital Jordan got uh, 20 blasters and 15 megas for him at the Walmart today. There you go, Daniel Smith. Nice. It's easier just to buy breaks on Jaspies. What an endorsement. Thank you. It is easier. Mosaic, jaspiescasebreaks.com. We've got a handful of spots available. Go get it. There's Mitch Moreland right here. Autograph. Good stuff. Good work, Daniel Smith. All right, that's for the Rangers. Just for the interest of time, I'm not going to top load those, but our team will take care of that if you don't mind. Rangers, that'll be for Adam Wilson, Last Bot Mojo. Ah, John Mudry saying, Excel Partners stock target. Ran into one, he gave me three mosaic boxes and Bowman. They're very strict. All right, well... See, that's part of the treasure hunting, though, ladies and gentlemen. That's part of the treasure hunting nowadays. You know, it's trying to find out who's got the inside info. When are, when are these places stocked? How many can you get? Are there buying limits? There's Tom Kohler to 750 going to Miami. That'll be for the Marlins. That's going to go to Jim Bly. Hmm. An expired redemption, but we'll see if it's someone that I'll probably give you points if they can't redeem it. We've got Tyler's Tyler Skaggs was was Arizona. Tyler Skaggs, I forgot about that. Hundred, uh, five hundred. That is two thirty out of five hundred, and that'll be for Asa and the Diamondbacks. Sad, sad story. Troy Gloss. That's got it. That's that's got to be Angels too, right? I'm gonna pull up a checklist here. David S. The high end break is yeah. Guess how much that guess how much that 1920 uh, Prism basketball hobby case goes for now. That's half of it, more than half of it. Gloss is gonna be St. Louis in 2013. By the way, while I'm looking this up, just a quick note: there there will be there should could be an instance where um, there are non-pro uniforms without a checklist, because we default to checklists first. All right, I don't think there's a 2013 checklist here. Maybe Cardboard Connection has it. And in that instance, we'll go to the team that they played for the longest. If they're retired or the team they're currently on. Troy Gloss in 2013. Oh, come on. He was retired by 2013. PaniniAmerica.net slash checklist. Sorry, folks. Baseball, 
2013, Panini, select, download full checklist. Oh, I don't want to download. Can you just show the checklist? Signature prisms. Oh, they don't have team assignments here either. All right, then we'll default to what team he played for the longest then, right? By our non-pro uniform, no checklist rules, right? He played with the Angels from 98 to 04. That's by far the longest. Diamondbacks for a season, Blue Jays for two seasons, Cardinals for two seasons, Braves one season, so Angels. He's probably an Angel anyway. Nick Reason with that one. Although they might have been Anaheim back then. Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim of Orange County in California. All right. All right. Where should we? Let's go with some older boxes here. Let's get this Elite going right here. This Elite from 2015. Yeah, the NT, the first off the line NT basketball is going to be kind of wild. What I'm not sure what is a Dutch auction. I'm not sure what that is. How does that work? Riffer says Panini always starts Dutch auctions at two times the expected price. So he's seeing that first off the line NT basketball goes for twelve, fifteen thousand dollars instead. Oh, goes backwards, says Coop and Riffer. A reverse auction. I don't think a, I don't think a Dutch oven, Paul Nixon. But <laughs> Dutch auction starts at thirteen and goes down to seven fifty. So what am I? So how does it, what am I bidding? Like if, if no one buys it at 30,000 at X amount price and it goes down X amount, and if no one buys it there, then it goes down X amount. But how long is that time limit before, before the price goes down? These will sleeve and top load before they go out as well. We'll set those aside. Out of 25, Kyle Schwarber. It's a nice patch. Cubbies. Chris W. with the Cubs. Gotcha. So Sean saying goes down a set amount on a set time. Okay. So someone could conceivably buy it for buy a box of NT first off the line basketball thirty thousand dollars, but but no one's really doing that, right? Ooh, Kenny's Vargas, autograph for the Twins, Justin. And Jorman Rodriguez for the Reds, rookie autograph for David Duffy. Yeah. Uh, you got it. What do you do? I'm a relation therapist. Uh, how long have you guys been married? Four years. Ooh. We've been dating. Well, we've been together for 13 years. Javier Baez. Rookie relic. Going to Chris. So it's the whole FOMO thing, yeah. That's what Sean and okay. Yeah. 
Yeah, the old FOMO. All right. Well, when when is that? That's next week or something like that. Good luck to everybody in that. I don't know. I don't know if we're going to be in on it. I guess we'll try. Yeah, Tops Project 2020. It's a bit of FOMO there too, right? Worked out for some, didn't work out for others, from what I understand. It's an interest. I like that project though. I thought that was really interesting. I thought that was interesting. I thought maybe if they if they you know get another interesting tier of artists to get in on that, could be a lot of interesting things. Vlad Guerrero Jr. to 99. Gabriel Guerrero for the Marlins to 99. Absolute rookie autographs. Another Miami Marlin for Jim Bly. Luis Ortiz, America's pastime autograph to 99. So does the whole, when did they start doing this Dutch auction thing? Does that help prevent like bots from getting, from stealing boxes? Is that an advantage? 004 out of 199. Freddie Peralta for the brew crew, James Beadle. And Cooper, I can't, I can't believe that DraftKings stock. I want to thank you again for that tip. There's Eloy Jimenez, prime patch. That jersey going to Mike Tower. Got the White Sox. That's a good randomizer for you, Mike Tower. Nice. Chris Paddock. All right, let's get this let's get this heritage going. I want to get some of this heavier stuff out of the way first. Gotcha. They do it because they know people pay a dumb amount for them, and they they just don't know how dumb the amount is. Well, listen, it's like it's like it's like the uh, it's like the stock market. There there and, and betting on sports. There are sharps and there are squares. Be a sharp, be a square. You know, you're going to be one or the other. I'd rather be be a sharp. Do do your research. Study, study stuff. You know? Like, I'm, I'm happy. Oh, hi, Nick. You want to do some, do some Bowman? Oh, we got the big cart? The big boy cart? Yeah. You want to do some Series 1? You want to do some... Update series? There you go, thanks. We'll, we got a little help now. Thanks, Nick. Maybe just leave those. I can just do those. Those guys. We'll, we'll close with the these higher end boxes right here. The ultimate, clearly authentic, Inception, and then uh, five star. Everyone can see Nick on the Nick cam right up there. I'll, I'll even expand it just a tiny bit. Just so you can get a clear picture of what he's doing. No funny business there. Ladies and gentlemen, no funny business. Daniel Smith, you still don't get digital cards. I don't get it either. The blockchain stuff. Yeah, regular versions, cow, of those Project 2020s have been selling for a lot. Apparently the early ones that were... It's print to order. So I think the early ones... People, it was the early ones were a lot shorter printed. 
So I think that uh, that drove the price. And it's Trout. I think Trout was one of the earlier ones too. Will Christian, yes, Nick at night. Nick said he will do Nick at night tonight. So get some, I know we got stuff that are, that are really close. Bowman Baseball Jumbo Pack is close to unlock Hobby. Uh, we can do more mini breaks. Noir is close. Because that pack is moving and someone bought a team straight up. And that uh, Noir number four, at Picker Team four, I think. Mosaic is only a handful of teams away. Select so Baseball, that final third of the case. We're almost done there too. So, yeah, I think we can... I think Nick will have plenty to do tonight. Maybe a mixer. I don't know about the mixers, but but we can get at least get that closer. Wow, Joe Drobeck bought five trouts for like eighty-five bucks. Project Twenty Twenty trouts for eighty-five bucks, fifteen hundred each on eBay, huh? <laughs> Now imagine if they get like some hotter artists like next year. Show me beak. I don't know, I switched it, but it doesn't feel right. Maybe it's... It feels weird. Yeah. It's not good. Yeah, may have to... Get a refund from the company. Yeah, get from the, from the Blade Company. Heritage has the... Para, the short print names on the back, right? Mm -hmm. Those are all facsimile autographs, by the way. If you, This is not an autograph hotbox. <laughs> a Banksy Trout. Billy Ripken Bat by Picasso. I guess one of his progeny, maybe. Shepherd, Shepherd Fairy. Sean Corb would be all over the Shepherd Fairy. I mean, what about some Joe Jaspi? What about some Joe Jaspi art? Uh, there's not five left on the high-end basketball mixer, David S. We still have a number of mini breaks we need to do to to do that. If you look right next to the high-end mixer, you'll see a couple breaks where it says win spots in the mixer. I don't know. How many more do we need to do for that mixer? I think like seven or eight. We need to do seven or eight total. I think we only did a, like two, two, or, two or three. Two right. So we're still a ways away. But there. probably won't sell any full spots other than those five. So if you wanted a full spot, then I would just grab that. Now. There you go. You heard it here first. Go to day or tomorrow, probably. Yeah, Mosaic, only, only six left. That almost looks real. It's not... Even I get fooled by those facsimile. They'll all be blue ink anyway, but. Contactless drive through Stop saying that. Yeah, I don't understand that either. They're still handing me a bag, right? What's, what, what are they not contacting? Stop saying contactless drive through Who am I paying? Am I just imagine, imaginary? I'm handing a card to somebody. That I'm that person has contacted contacted my card. That's a new buzzword now, contactless. There's the Yelich for the Brewers, James the Beadle. The team was like, we have to get contactless in this. It supports bladder muscles. But... It doesn't make sense, it's it's not it's not any different from before. No, like drive through is literally the same exact thing. Maybe they're wearing masks and gloves, but don't say contactless drive. Yeah, they're contacting everything. I like how like Papa John's is like, oh, we'll put a sticker on there, and they're like, Why so they no one. So, so what were they doing before? Touching my pizza yeah. after it's baked? They're like putting their hands on it. That's weird. That bo that bothered me. When it comes to all this hygiene stuff, it always makes you wonder, so what were they doing before? 
contactless drive through Stop saying that. So much contact. Unless they're just tossing the bag to me. But even then, they're holding the bag that... I guess they're wearing gloves? Maybe that's where they're saying it's not contacted by an so actual... Who do I pay? Some guy, some guy, some guy would... Exactly, I'm would, giving a car to somebody. Or else they're holding out the credit card machine out the window. I think they're hoping that, that it's just, uh, that they're wearing gloves. They're not contacting you with their human hand. Yeah, I mean, I think it's BS too. All right, here's some, uh, series one. Their they're contact. Checking their their temperatures. No doubt it. Think Teddy wants to do more Star Wars later, or what? He said something. He had he, Curtis said he hit a Billy D. Williams to ten. Yeah. Which is pretty good. <coughs> There's Boba Shet. No, that's not it's not playing. Okay. It's not playing in the chat. <laughs> I guess everyone's just over it. I don't we don't see any plastic trays here, Greg. What do you mean you're over Family Feud? I don't like Steve Harvey. I don't even know you anymore, man. Well, you want to watch Common Knowledge with Joey Catch, Fatone? Catch 21 Lars. Catch 21 Lars edition? Yeah. How you doing, Ted? I don't know. It seemed a little quiet out there. It doesn't look like you're selling anything. Out to your car. People didn't care before. Now they just want a little reassurance so a sticker makes them happy. Still explain how the pizzas get sliced if straight from the oven to the box. Yes, I know, I know. It's it's silly. They must pre-slice it and then cook it. Pre-slice it? Someone's touching it. They pre-slice have, have you ever seen a pizza get made? No, but they pre-slice the dough. It goes from the oven to the box. Oh, man. I mean, uh, it's just the same thing. Nothing has changed. I mean... I guess maybe they're wearing more gloves now, but shouldn't have they, they've been doing that anyway? Nick Senzel, more Nick Senzel for the really Reds. Been this card? <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's a better base card. I'm like, Joe, you're randomizing a better base card. All right, so name on top will get the Jeter, and the second name will get the famous San Diego chicken. Remember, not part of the Padres. That's like almost an insult. It's like, yeah. I'll autograph it. Oh, I don't even know what I'm looking for in the series one, by the way. <laughs> what am I? What's in here? Hits. Am I pulling rookies? Uh, I guess rookies will get sorted out anyway. Yeah. I don't know the variations anymore. The variations are fucked up. I think. Oh, okay. Let's get live sports back, ladies and gentlemen. Otherwise, we're just driving ourselves crazy here. I think this is a repeat, Nick. I've seen that other family. I mean, I do, I do love the pizza. I just, I just can't have it too often. It's pizza coffee. Pizza. <clears throat> the za. Can't have too much za. My I, favorite food group. It is, it is one of my favorite food groups, but it is, uh, it is creating an unnecessary expansion. 
Chris Bryant Mojo Refractor. Do they still call it Mojo Refractor? I guess so. Who knows what they call it anymore. Dustin May. Jesus Lazardo. And Pete Alonzo. 11 out of 50. Mets. That'll be for Paul Nixon and the Mets. Faux show. Lobos. What should I do? Connors? Yeah, there's a sick hit in the second pack. Okay, the Donner's theme. Alright, so this is 2019 Donner's Optic Baseball. Yeah, Daniel Smith. I know. I've been kind of tracking the labor dispute there. It's like, ooh, there it is. Joe Adele, rated prospect autograph for the Halos. Nick Reason won that spot in the mini break. Best minor baseball. It's a great prospect. There's Jose Urania. But yeah, it looks like a parallel hot box too. John Lester. But uh, yeah, that labor looks like they're trying to argue the CBA now <laughs> instead of after the 2021 season. They're arguing about money. Billionaire owners versus millionaire players. Nobody's on the right side. Max Scherzer, you know, running his mouth in public. Blake Snell running his mouth on social media. Like, why are they even saying any of that out loud? Like, shut your mouths. Get the deals done. You know what they did in the English Premier League? They got all the owners, locked them in a room for like eight hours. And so they hammered out an issue. Or it hammered out the season. Now Premier League season starting. Players entitled, owners agree. Yeah, that's what it is. Entitled players, greedy owners. But this is the history of baseball, though. Ever since, like, there's Carter Kibu. Since the beginning of baseball, even. Why did the Black Sox end up throwing games? They hated their owners. They wanted to make money. Owners weren't paying them. And then when free agency, who was the guy that launched free agency? In the 60s or 70s, Kurt Flood, I think. You know, and he shook up a lot of things that the owners were never happy about. And, you know, players always think they're being underpaid. And I don't know. Let's just say baseball revenue overall has been increasing over the last handful of years. So, yeah, Manfred is not a very good. I mean, you look at the difference between Manfred and, like, Adam Silver, who I think is a, a really solid commissioner. A little, but, I mean,. Compare it to Goodell and Manfred. I know, but what he did about the China is kind of yeah, that, that was just a bad play in general by everybody. <laughs> but I mean, all things considered, look at what Manfred and no, he's better than Manfred and Goodell. He's better than Manfred. And in hockey, everyone's like, "Oh, look yeah. at the hockey players." But the hockey has, the hockey union has no power at all. Baseball union is one of the most powerful unions, so they can just they can just get the uh, so many players. they can just dig in and get dig in. Oh, I've always known the difference, Vanilla Gorilla. I've been in I've been in the public policy world for a long time. I know what's going on. But I'm with the I'm I'm generally with the players though. Generally with 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 the player on the player side of things. But I don't know. It's hard to compare baseball like Jared Eikhoff for the Phillies going to Mac McCarthy with people with regular jobs. It's a completely different thing. This is it's like a specialized industry. You know what I mean? So. No longer are guys like Noah Syndergaard living in the neighborhood and butchers in the off season, you know, back like back in the day. And that's just not happening anymore. It's a lot different now. Trey Turner autograph. I almost didn't notice that. But you kind of have to comp compartmentalize, like compartmentalize that. But you kind of have to have a season going, like almost as. Almost as a sign of goodwill. Just to bring some sort of entertainment back for the people. What's this? 
Switch update. Update. But baseball's not even doing that, or at least owners and players aren't really. Yeah, they're just. They're just baseball they're, sends them a ridiculous they're offer. Going back at each other on social media. Yeah, can you imagine? Why don't you just go in a room and talk about it? Work it out, but why? I don't know why they aren't doing that. And then, like Blake Snell said, he wouldn't even play even if they got a deal. So it's like, whatever. Right, then don't don't make any money, Blake Snell. I'm sure the city of Tampa Bay is going to be really grateful for that. There's Labor Day. I mean, both sides have to make a concession and just do it. Let's not argue the CBA now. Let's at least get baseball back. They're trying to litigate the CBA right now instead of after the 2021 season. Let's save, let's save the strike for that. Mel Gordon took a shot at Sean Corbett the other day. What? You see that? He was, Melvin Gordon was like, someone said, oh, yeah, you... At Sean fans. Corbin? Yeah. Well, listen, Melvin Gordon was like, to some interviewer, he was like, yeah, you know, there won't be any Broncos fans at the games this year. How, how are you going to feel like that? And he was like, oh, well, there weren't any Chargers games, or Chargers fans at the games wow. last year. Wow, wow. So that's a direct shot at Sean Corbin. So would someone say Melvin Gordon is salty? I don't know. Melvin Gordon's probably a little salty. I mean, that was, that, that was his fault. He held out and didn't work out. Yeah, that was a bad holdout. That was a bad holdout. Daniel says, in Tampa, no one will notice the difference because there's no fans. In a, in a baseball betting sense, does, it, does no fans in the stands, if we have baseball, does no fans in the stands help uh, Tampa Bay the best because they're used to playing without fans? Or Miami. Or Miami? For other teams that are used to like selling out stadiums, Yankees, Red Sox, Cubs, Dodgers, so on and so Angels. forth, Angels, maybe maybe that throws them off. Maybe it throws them off, and they're like they're 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 shook. You know, and Neil Walker of the Marlins is like no big deal. Like I'm used to not. That's Cano. All right. What did Sean Corbett say? Sean saying, I still don't know why he's salty. We offered him more money and extended year contract. It's out of 76. Yeah, he's definitely big time, man. That's <laughs> something. I mean, he, he has to know that, that running backs are so disposable in the NFL. Yeah, like the and they, they, you know, yeah. And they had they already had Austin Eckler with excellent production for cheaper. Justin Jackson. Yeah, a lot a lot of teams are going to be like, well, we can probably reproduce, unless you're like an elite running back. But who's even an elite? Why did they why did they pay Zeke that much money? Yeah, that's dumb. You know, um, Demarco Murray, Cowboys tried to get all this money. He didn't get it, and that was smart because he wasn't as effective as he ever was in Dallas. So oh, sucks for the running backs, but their 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 shelf life is a little short. What's up, Jeff? Pete Alonzo rookie card, rookie debut rookie card. Degree. Yeah, we're like a degree. Or we're a degree off. 
The problem is I get cold if I come. It's cold. If I go outside yeah, and, and then, then I come back inside and it's like I get a cold. It's not good, yeah. All right, thanks, Nick. Oh, those are the big. I should save the Bowmans. Maybe I'll do this Donruss. All right, Donruss. Tops Chrome. I'll save the best in the select. I think those are. Sean, did you leave your phone here? We found a mystery phone here at Jaspie's. I don't think so. I'm charging. Does that charger not work? It, the phone's not charging, I think. Unless it's Sean's, then we got a big problem on our hands. Hmm. And Matt Gomes checked in today. I feel like he would have said something if he left his phone here. Have, have you asked your uh, boss man and Mrs. Boss man? Yes. None of that. None? Let me go see if it's charged. You were so cool, Lottie. I was down there by the bottom. I don't know, it's, it's probably like a detonator in some Jason Bourne movie or something like that. <laughs> that's that's Nick Jasper you're talking about Drift. Not just any not, not just any assistant. Co-founder of Jasper's Case Breaks is who you're talking about. Um, no, Sean definitely has his phone. Did you ask Jason and Vanessa? <laughs> Max says it's from it's the guys in the white van. Probably is. Planting the uh, planting the uh, the phone here. Rookie Aaron Judge and Reynaldo Lopez. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Easy drift. What are what are what are you? Zero percent body fat and you know in professional athlete shape. There's Mike Tower and the White Sox. And Aaron Judge, Yankees. James Beadle. Thirty percent body fat, yeah, easy, easy, man. We got Ryan Healy, A's, Jamie. Ballinger rookie. Looking for love in all the wrong places. Looking for love. Jesse Winker Reds. Heavier you are, harder you are to kidnap. Um. I think Dion Cole has a good stand-up bit on that. All right. Jonathan Lewisaga, by the way, was at Donruss Redemption. Forgot about that. Still have some time to redeem it. Plenty of time. Yankees, James Beadle. Ty Block for Matt Lordich and the Giants, the Gigantes, my rivals.
<laughs> My doctor still gives me candy. Is that okay, Joe? You want a lollipop? Yes. Pat Valaika for the Rocks. Chris Parent with the Rockies. Good answer, good answer. A very sympathetic crowd. They're like, oh. Jesse Winker, rookie autograph. David Duffy. A medical examination, a... Okay. You got it. What? Best. Best. 2019 select. Let's do the older one first. That's 2017. Austin Meadows to 150. Shot, 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 shot. Matt Sig Sauer. Going to James and the Yankees. Matt Sig Sauer Atomic Refractor Yankees. One out of 25. Oh, they do have candy up there. Tristan Lutz, up and comer for the Brew Crew, James Beadle. Jason Groom, wasn't he a big, isn't he a big deal? Wasn't he a big deal? Paul Nixon with the Red Sox. Maybe he still is a big deal? This is 2017, he was a big deal back then. There's Brent Honeywell to 250. All right, 2019 Bowman's best. No, Will Christian, baseball fans, you got nothing on this? Quinn Priester, franchise favorites. Ah, Malcolm Gray saying, had Tommy John, hasn't come back from it. I feel like he was supposed to be a big deal, though. Quinn Priester, or could be, could still be. Nick Reason and the Pirates. Ooh. A Chris Bryant autograph out of 2019 Bowman's Best Baseball. Nice. It's got a nice autograph. Hasn't changed that much over the years, if at all. Justin Verlander. All right, and there's Yusai Kuchi, rookie autograph. Mariners, that goes to Edwin Hack. Kind of a up and down season for him last year after coming over from Japan. I feel like I feel like he could still still show something. Out of 150, Chris Paddock, Chris Sale, Atomic. Save one of those Vlad Guerrero Jr. rookie cards. And another red, Reese Hines, another red prospect right here. Got some Senzels. Got some Jesse Winkers, and now a Reese Hines.
for the Reds, David Duffy. There's Senzel right there. He's supposed to be pretty good. Alright, and here's 2019 Select Baseball. We've got a four box random team break of this in the store right now if you want to do the final uh, four box of that case we popped open for random teams, jazbeescasebreaks.com. Untouched? I don't know. I guess they have like the big pizza pan thing, but what were they doing before? Out of one forty, were they touching my pizza? Using their hands to take it out of the oven? I don't understand. I feel like the process hasn't changed. There's Adrian Morahone to 250. We got Bregman to 99 for the Astros. Mike McCarthy. Dustin May for my Dodgers. Crisp white jersey there. Mike McCarthy. Robots only. They took our gerbs. Jake Fraley, Mariners. Edwin with the M's. One of the most frequently asked questions that I get is, Joe, wouldn't you love to have a robot? This is more. This is a more frequently asked question than, what break is coming up next? Will this break tonight? More than that, the most commonly asked question is, Joe, would you love to have a robot rip packs for you? How awesome would that be? And I'd be like, no, that's not awesome. There's Shun right here, Yamaguchi, die cut for the Blue Jays, Ryan Harold. I say, no, it wouldn't be great because eventually that robot will will kill me and take my job. So no. Ronald Acuna Jr. autograph. That goes to Ryan Shackleton and the Braves who won that spot in one of our select mini breaks. Bryce Harper to 199. All right. We got Bowman Baseball. Yeah, nice Acuna, right? Bowman Baseball, this is 20... Oh, this is the most recent edition. I think this is... We got one hobby and then we got one jumbo back there. Nice Dominguez paper. All right, this goes to James and the Yankees. Just keep your mouth shut, Max Scherzer. Let's get let's get some deals done. Why are you putting all this negotiation stuff out in public? Now everyone thinks. Well, now everyone knows that no one knows what they're doing out there. Kenton, no more tracking numbers for shipping? No, there's always tracking numbers for shipping. Whenever your stuff sends out, you get a tracking number. Check your spam folder if you haven't been getting them. Sometimes email services get too aggressive and put your stuff back into our, our emails back into your spam folder. Now, the post service not updating though so it'll it'll say it's in LA but that's about all that you'll get I think am I doing prism 13 tonight sure sounds good yes we got Nick at night after me so I'm sure we'll have time to do that if it's sold out Jason Dominguez chrome this time Chocolate chunks taste like cold milk. 
We keep it real. Because you can't fake delicious. Special K. When allergies tough, the excitement fades. Allegra helps you say yes with the fastest non-drowsy allergy relief for 24-hour relief. And remember, folks, for most of you in the country, there's just going to be significant delays in, uh, in delivery. Just keep that in mind. Easy egg? Why not just use a cup? Why do you need this? Okay, that's kind of cool. Noir Fortnite? Yes. Is it full? <laughs> then yes. Let's do it. Listen, folks. Whenever someone asks me if this is gonna, if that's gonna break tonight, I'm always secret. I'm always gonna say yes. I'm never gonna say no. It is sold out. I don't think so. Look carefully, Vinny. Don't forget those mini breaks that are attached to a lot of the more expensive breaks. So just keep that in mind. Always don't never forget about those. There's the 125 Josiah Gray for my Dodgers. Goes to Mac. There you go. Daniel Smith knows about the, the mini break. And there's Oscar Gonzalez for the tribe. I don't know. You can still use a cup and rattle your egg around in a cup. It'll be fine. It'll be the same thing. Why are these upside down like this? What's going on here? Alright, Robert Possum for the A's. Another one of the big international prospects, a big name in the hobby for 2020. Bowman at least. That is Jamie with the A's. I think he's pegged as number two international prospect. Dominguez number one. All right, here's half a jumbo. Here's the other half of the jumbo, and then we're closing out with just these four boxes right here. Let's shrink that camera now. Dominguez paper. Hmm. Make sure you check again, Vinny. Make sure there's no mini break or a filler break to help sell out, sell out a break. To see if it's really sold out. There's Max Muncy to one to four ninety nine. And Thomas Dillard to 75. Joy, gotta be careful. You got two Brewers, that's for James Beadle. <laughs> Not a good answer. Her family's like, bad answer, bad answer. That's a Tim Kate refractor to four ninety nine. Your family steals, your family wins. If it's not there, 
Yeah, Anthony B, that was a bad answer. That's a good answer. There's Anthony Velope, Yankees, James Beadle. Ding. Oh boy. We got it. We got to teach Vinny, you guys. He's a newbie on the site. Vinny, if you look at the product right next to it, on, on jazbeescasebreaks.com, you're going to see Win the Pelicans helps fill Noir number four right to the directly to the left of it. You always have to be on the lookout for those mini breaks, filler breaks, number blocks, and stuff like that. So, sold out in a way, yes. Not truly sold out. Though. So always be on the lookout for those. You'll typically find those for expensive teams like the Pelicans, the Grizzlies, expensive breaks like Flawless, National Treasures, slow, slower moving breaks or just expensive breaks in general. That kind of helps move moves things along if it starts to starts to lag a little bit. So always keep an eye out for the mixers. Expensive mixers are always going to have stuff like this. Oh, uh, by the way, Chris Levin, I think I did run, ran, run, ran, run that break, ran that break. Did I not upload it? I thought I did that. I'll double check on it. Can you remind me again, Chris, after this break, which I'm going to be done with in about 10, 15 minutes? What's that? Oh, it only just sold out? Okay, so then it will not, I, I'll have to, I'll run that later then, Chris Levin. Or what about 12? I don't remember doing 12. Oh, I have it right here. It says Pr Prism Retail Pack. I have it in my log, but I must not have uploaded. I must have uploaded that. That was before Chronicles Hangar 17. Wow. Wait, did I number it number nine for some reason? That's select mini box nine. It's up. Um, Chris Levin, I'm just a dumb. But what, what the hell is wrong with me? Yeah, I accidentally labeled it number nine. It's retail number 12 is up. One pack retail RT number twelve is the is the title of the video. I just renamed it. I wrote number nine for some reason. I'm losing losing my mind. Jason Dominguez spanning the globe Chrome. Oh, I already went through these. His name is Robert Pawson. His name is Robert Pawson. It's right, Vinny. Everyone here in this room started started somewhere and probably asked the same exact question you did. It's all good. It's all good. It's a learning process. That's part of the fun. Learning about all these this crazy group breaking thing and learning about all the different twists and variations that go into it. Part of the fun. Listen, even even some of the more seasoned group breaking veterans will still miss a mini break or a, or a filler break, and they'll be like, "It's sold out." No, I'm serious. It is. And they'll be like, "Look again." They'll be, "No, no, no, totally." And they're like, "Ah, oh, I see it right next to it." We try to do our best to keep those products right next to each other. So. I get it though. People get so excited that something's sold out. Three times a day, Jesus. California. California. Come on, Tommy. Let's 
Mow the lawn. Who honks their who honks their horn early in the Eric Rivera is your speckle autograph to 299. Halos. That'll be for Nick Reason. <laughs> See, Harvey's like, that's a, that's a lot. All right, let's get to the good stuff here. Let's got, we got some Inception. They got one, he got 106. That's pretty good. Everyone took the over on this, right? Over 200? All right, behind Devers is Alex Verdugo, Dodgers edition, 009 out of 109. Goes to Mac McCarthy. Uh, let's save the five star. Forgot that they don't cover this up right here. Jason Veritag, there's Tech, 16 out of 50. Sorry about that. Revealed a little too early. You see his autograph right there. There he is. Jason Veritag for the Red Sox, the coach, Paul Nixon. Let's get some ultimate baseball going. She's at one, one seventy-two. We've got Davis Wenzel. This is what twenty nineteen. They should still be on their big same parent clubs, right? She got it. Davis Wenzel is a Ranger. We got Blake Walston. Blake Walston sounds like an Oriole to me. Blake Walston is a is a Diamondback. No checklist, so we're we're just we're just going by their team that they're currently on. Nick Quintana. I want to say White Sox, but I'm probably thinking of Jose Quintana. Nick and Tom, maybe a Royal? Show me Royals. And Detroit Tigers. That'll be for, Ace has the Diamondbacks, by the way. Rangers is Adam Wilson. Tigers is James Beadle. Next up is Joe Ryan, who sounds like, uh, a national. Show me nationals. And he's a Tampa Bay Ray. And that will go to Jeremy Monahan. A couple more to go. A oh, redemption in the back there. Ryan Jensen, 14 out of 15. He's a Cub. I know that 100%. Chris with the Cubs. Because I've got a friend whose name is exactly that, Ryan Jen It's not him, though. Ryan Jensen, and he's from Chicago, and he's not a Cubs fan. He's a White Sox guy. And the last one here is Jordan Alvarez. I know where he goes. He is an Astro. Mac with the Strohs. Non-cheater. Oh, Jesse? Yeah, he's a fly closet. 
All right. And the last box, ladies and gentlemen, should be a good one. Five star baseball. Love the five star. And then, love what we're giving away here. The gynecology kind of stuff. Come on, man. We're grown ups here. Well, I think we got a case hit, a silver signature. It's golden graphs and silver signatures are the case hits usually in this five star. All right, Jeff McNeil. Nice rookie autograph for the Mets. Paul Nixon, probably, he might win a batting title someday, he could. I got a DJ LeMayhew type. All right, and the silver signature is gonna be upside down. It's an Oriole, Roberto Alomar, nice. 12 out of 20. Five star silver signatures, Nancy. Volleyball Nancy with the O's. Got a couple old school Jaspies people hitting back to back. The coach Paul Nixon, Volleyball Nancy. Like the old days, you guys. Like the old days. No pandemic back in the day. We're only doing a few breaks a day. We had time to sit and chat. All right, good luck, everybody. Let's uh, let's close some windows. I got too many windows open right here. Looking up checklists and stuff. Let's get all rid of all that. Let's. Do I have a blank list and some new dice? I do. So there's new die, new die. Asa down to Nick and everybody in between. You have a shot at the Derek Jeter. After five times. Second name, San Diego Chicken, if you want. I guess I could, could autograph, it, autograph it if you want as a consolation prize. Sorry about the like not getting into Jeter. There's everybody right here. Sorry, I didn't show you the dice roll. There's the timestamp right here, the 04 mark, five times. Yeah, Paul Nixon, remember those days? Breakers would freeze 30 times during a mixer, you know? Those guys from the other channels would spam us, and that'd be fun. Big Hit Express, and we were in that little that closet we were breaking in. I was maybe five pounds lighter, ten pounds lighter. Five times, one and a four, five times. Good luck, everybody. Name on top. One, two, three, four, and five. After five times. Jim Bly, James Beadle, congrats to you. Fall asleep. One out of three, Derek Jeter, gold frame, on card autograph, out of definitive baseball. James Beadle, all aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop, whoop. A train whistle to finish off the break. Thanks for breaking with us. Thanks for watching. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We'll see you next time for the next mixer with the next awesome thing. See you later.